Hey everybody, welcome back to another Sims 4 build tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to build this infinity pool in the Sims 4. All you need is press Control shift c and then bb.moveobjects and then bb.show hidden objects. After that we're going to start by building our pool. So we're just going to place a flat square and then place a pool inside of it. And we'll raise the pool up to however high we want it to be. I think that looks pretty good. We'll go into our foundations and we'll see that unlocking hidden objects has let us place this clear foundation. Now this is the tricky part. You have to figure out the same height foundation as your pool change the color of the foundation while it's not connected to the pool and then you have to move it next to it otherwise it's not going to let you apply the right foundation color. You can do this just by duplicating the same foundation and then stretching it so it will fit nicely all the way around. Next we can just put some stairs on so our sim can get up to it. Now we're going to use terrain tools to make a little bit of a pond in front of the pool. You can kind of fuss around with this however you want, and I definitely recommend adding some water, seeing how it looks, and then making any sort of adjustments that you need. But it doesn't need to be super complicated, you just want a little bit of water in front of the pool. After that, you're going to get the smooth keeper fence, and then place it on the tiles just like this. It won't let you actually connect it to the foundation. Then you can put whatever stone, gravel, concrete, or any sort of tile underneath the water so it looks like it's not actually a pond but it's actually part of the water feature on the pool. Now that we have that done, it's going to be time to get some water emitters. You can use whichever ones you want and you are going to want to use the bracket key to size them down and just kind of place them randomly by the pool edge. And I'm just going to speed through this real quick since I did place quite a few of them. I think the more you place, the cooler it looks. If you have other packs, you can use those water emitters as well. Then we're going to place some rocks to cover up the water emitters and also to make a more seamless boundary between the vents and the pool. And I'm just going to kind of layer these in here and we're just going to do that real quick and you might want to raise and lower the rocks by using the 9 and 0 keys as well as resizing them with the bracket key like we did earlier. You can use the bracket key we used earlier to make them smaller or if you use the other bracket key it will make them bigger and you can do this however you'd like to make it feel realistic. Lastly. We can hop into live mode and watch our sim jump in our pool. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below what type of build tutorial you'd like to see next. Also, if you enjoyed this, you should totally subscribe to my channel, check out my other tutorials, as well as my other builds. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everybody!